Hi guys, today we are going to make a simple model of a gear on SolidWorks. Let's start with a new part document of SolidWorks interface. Let's go to right front plane sketch select select circle from the center from the origin point make a circle at 100 the diameter is 100 100 mm select line make a center line from the origin point a vertical center line select or escape delete this line if i have made this by mistake select line make a horizontal line from the center line and then a slanting line select smart dimension the horizontal line is 5 mm and from the up and from down it is twin 8.85 mm the slant the dimension of the slanting line is 3rd I read this by mistake the dimension of this slanting line is 10 no 10 is too small let's make it 20 20 is looking fine escape or select select three of these lines and select mirror entities it will automatically mirror to the other side now select linear sketch pattern now drop down linear sketch pattern and select circular sketch pattern the perimeters is the center origin point clear selections entities to pattern clear selections then select three of these lines like I have selected number of patterns is 20 ok select ok sell everything is as it is and remember this equal spacing select circle from the origin point smart dimension 50 mm enter select trim entities and trim these lines like i am trimming power trim trim entities power trim and trim these lines like i am trimming please follow each and every step so you have no issues with it select each and every these both lines don't do it in a hurry or the same could happen to you like me and you will have to do it all again like me let's do it one by one slowly slantly so we trim these From all of these, like I am trimming, you can also trim the circle, there is no issue. You can also trim the circle. Now, let's go. Come on, let's do this. Let Please follow these steps and 
trim the all of the lines like this then we will then we will add some then we will then we will uh, then we will now extrude box base extrude 20 mm okay let select the select again select the same sketch but in selected contours clear selection and select this inner circle 10 mm not 20 10 mm now now everything is fine everything is fine now let's i think we shall save it or we have to we will assemble it so make a make the boss ex, this gear mid plane come on let's now it's ready to be saved let's save it as let's apply some material over here let's apply some plastic over here let's apply some plastic like candy red background plain white let's save it in a full let's clear, create a folder called gear parts the name is one dot gear save it now let's let's start a new solidworks interface stop right plane sketch select line make a line across a horizontal line across the origin point make, then make a vertical line then a horizontal line then a vertical again then a horizontal again then a vertical then a horizontal then a vertical no don't make a vertical just come back to your point it will automatically convert into arc then horizontal then vertical then again horizontal then vertical and connect to this the first line make horizontal let's give them the dimension like i am giving them 25 5 this is 5 2 no 2.5 this one is 5 no 2 this one is 2.5 this one is 10 this one is again 2.5 this is again 2.5 then this one is 5 select this radius 8.85 it 
it is overlapping so and do it and smart dimension and this dimension is 2.5 no 5 this is 5 this one is 2.5 this one is 30 now let's change the radius of the arc 8.8 6.25 select this line it should be 17.50 mm now select this line it should be 65 mm select this line and hold shift and select the origin point midpoint now our now our sketch is fully defined but it is not it is showing that it is under defined so let's drop down delete display relation uh, drop there will be three things the last thing is fully defined sketch cal all entities in sketch calculate it has calculated okay i was just checking what mistake i have made i just made a line over here by mistake don't worry there is no need to delete it let's go to features to world boss space access of revolution is this line axis of revolution is this line 360 degrees everything is as same now let's may we have made the shaft but we have to make some teeth on it so select this and sketch from make a corner rectangle like this i am making 2.5 select smart dimension the whole vertical dimension 2.5 the horizontal dimension is 5 for features extruded walls base flip direction up to next okay now let's go to features over here there is one option linear pattern drop down it there is circular pattern click on circular pattern the parameters is this circle and the it has already chosen the the feature and faces number of patterns is 20 equal spacing let's save it as part 2 shaft shaft in the same folder save okay now let open a new assembly a new interface assembly okay browse the parts and select both of the hold control and select both of the parts and bring them like this like i am bringing them you can keep them anywhere i was just doing it for more so it becomes easier to mate now select deselect this face now select this face and this inner face concentric relation okay now select this face of the shaft and this face okay now it is 
now we have made a 3d gear with shaft now let's apply some material the next video i will make will be on a helical bevel gear this is a differential gear so you we can make it of any color you like but i think let's go to painted car i'm just trying some colors whichever look good you can choose any of them if you like them better let's select powder coat black select this one too okay now this is looking good okay thanks for watching this video bye so see you in the next video bye bye